Madam Ambassador, welcome to Israel. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to see you again, and I, I'm especially happy to have this uh, meeting here in Jerusalem. And uh, I hope that during your visit uh, here in our ancient and modern homeland, you can see firsthand what Israel and what Israelis are really about. Uh, Israel is a wonderful country with wonderful people, vibrant democracy, uh, and uh, a remarkable spirit. And I'm sure you'll feel it. You'll feel the atmosphere here. And there's such a stark contrast between the reality on ground here and what one might hear in the corridors of the United Nations. And uh, I want to thank you for representing a, a voice of decency and reason in an institution that I think we can both objectively say it's uh, pretty biased in, in terms of its treatment with, uh, of Israel. And uh, I hope uh, that during your visit here you can get a better uh, picture of the unique challenges that we're facing here um, you know, with Iranian-backed terror groups across our borders. And uh, I know that uh, you've always been standing up for us, you and the United States, throughout the years, standing on Israel's side and serving as a voice of truth. Um, Madam Ambassador, Ambassador, you've dedicated most of your life to the diplomatic service in pursuit of justice and tolerance, and you've made it clear that you intend to continue pursuing those in uh, the United Nations. So I wish you a wonderful visit here in Israel, and uh, we view you as a true friend. Wow. Well, thank you, uh, Prime Minister uh, Bennett. This is now our third meeting. Yeah. Because I met you with the president and then met you at the Security Council. And so I was honored uh, that you uh, welcomed me to Israel. And I'm glad to be here this evening as we strengthen and build again our nation's 73 year partnership before either of us were born. Uh, president Biden shares Prime Minister Bennett's commitment to a new spirit of cooperation as we, uh, let me remove my mask because I'm hearing my voice, uh, a new spirit of cooperation as we address the full range of regional and global challenges to, together. Our countries share a strong common agenda at the UN and across the globe from fighting COVID-19 to expanding democracy to strengthening Israel's ties with its Arab neighbors, Muslim majority countries, and other nations. The Abraham Accords and Israel's other normalization agreements make its partners and the entire region safer and more prosperous. And I look forward to discussing the United States' support for both Israel and Palestinian civil society advocates working to strengthen peace, advance human rights, and build a shared future where every child grows up with hope and with opportunity. We believe Israel, Israelis and Palestinians alike deserve equal measures of freedom, prosperity, security, and dignity. This is important in its own right and as a means to advance prospects for a two-state solution. This administration is committed to strengthening all aspects of the U.S.-Israel partnership, and I look forward to continuing to further our friendship uh, in the days to come. I particularly want to thank you, uh, Prime Minister Bennett, uh, again for hosting me. I've spent about 12 hours, less than 12 hours on the ground so far, and I have to tell you it's been an extraordinary visit. And I have so much appreciated all of the hospitality of Israel that Israel has shown me so far, and I look forward to our meeting and our discussion. So thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. And I hope you have an opportunity to see Jerusalem and Tel Aviv and not only politicians. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a good opportunity to see Jerusalem, Jerusalem today. I'm not going to see Tel Aviv on this trip, but it That's means That's good. Now it means you got to come back. I have to come back. There you go. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I also want to thank um, Ambassador uh, Erdan, who's doing a great job, and uh, and also uh, Mike Ratney, uh, which we're going to miss. I miss him already, but uh, it is what it is. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.